Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to the shop. In the next episode, I'm going to make some boxes. I'm going to make six boxes. Uh, kind of a race between me and the apprentice. Uh, spoiler alert, I win. Uh, but in the process, I make six boxes. They're all out of cherry, local cherry. A guy up in Lee cut it out for me. Uh, little drawers. I call them my spice boxes. They're sort of like that kitchen appliance, so to speak, back in the 18th or early 19th century that you kept your basil in one, your salt in another, and your spices of various descriptions. These are still useful, even if you're not putting, even if you're buying spices in a jar. Um, but uh, I'm going to make six of them. They look like this. Um, kind of key features are all out of made, made of cherry. The insides are maple, uh, bottoms are pine, backs are pine. I have cute little feet that I make, knobs that I bought, uh, and uh, you know, pretty close tolerances, very plain, very simple, a lot of what we think of as uh, tension in the surface, uh, just flat, held together by the pieces. You can see the boards uh, that I cut these out of are still in there. These are all mapped from the pieces of wood that I cut the faces out of. Uh, and if you watch the whole damn thing, which is your problem, but if you do, you'll get to see the insides and outsides of how I made these things. I'm pretty pleased. Just got them done. Uh, I thought, uh, thought you'd get a, you know, a kick of seeing the after before. But, uh, you know, scroll forward. It'll be fun. Well, hi. Welcome back to the shop. Um, I'll set this aside. I'm starting a new project, the Corona cabinet. Um, little, some little boxes, much like I've made before. I'm making a set. I've got some cherry, a little bit of cherry that came in for boards. Um, a little bit distressed, but uh, I could see a pathway in it to have enough wood to make six little boxes. Uh, and so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, the cherry uh, looks like this. Uh, it's it's kind of it's kind of nice. It's um, I haven't played this one completely. I've been just sort of roughing it out. But you can see I've been playing the game really tight. This bark edge on it. Uh, this um, it's it's been a, it's going to be a challenge to get what I want out of it. But I think I will. Uh, and uh, so I've got the pieces for the tops. And I've got uh, pieces to make the sides out of. These will ultimately be three quarter inch thick and a little bit. So they're thicker than they're ultimately going to be. They're wider than they're ultimately going to be. And they're longer at the moment. Uh, but this is getting me toward the getting my stock out. Getting your, when you're going for unique pieces all from the same tree, all from the same log uh, in the same tree. Uh, you, you have to pay attention, and you, you want to know ahead of time if you've got enough stuff. Now, I've taken some offcuts, and and this is the mission for the day, is I've taken some offcuts, uh, a piece of wood that was just too crappy, and I sliced them up, and I'm putting some cherry facing. I glued just before you, yesterday, uh, before I started this, uh, I glued these pieces together. Uh, we'll set up and watch me break it down. And you'll see how what I'm going to do. This is basically to save some uh, cherry, uh, gluing it to pieces of pine. And you'll see in a minute. So here we are in the long view. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, this particular design has. 3 8 and half inch thick dividers between the drawers that give the box its structure. And those dividers are 3 8 of an inch thin, one half, and one's one half inch thick. They only show on the face, and a trick I've used before to extend the amount of wood I have is to use some base wood in the parts of it that don't show. So I've done this. I've glued these. You can see I've got some great drip. Um, 
and you. So what's going to happen is I'm going to clean these up. I'm going to run them through the planer and make them flat, and then I'm going to slice them in half right down the middle, and that will give me two pieces with a cherry nosing. They'll all be very familiar with each other, and I'll cut them off in sequence. So these first couple will go in the box one, and the next couple will go in box two, and the next couple will go in box three, and everything will be uh, little families. It'll be great. So, um, I guess next is uh, do some cleanup. I think I'm going to pass a belt sander across it to kind of, and maybe a scraper to knock some of the glue ooze off this side and run it through the planer that side down. Uh, and then we'll have them cleaned up and this will be uh, part of the process of get all the stock, all the pieces of the stock that you're going to use, get them organized, get them together and, and then start the process of refining them in thickness and size and shape so that they all stay together. Uh, the real trick is to, when you're cutting one thing, you have the table saw set up to cut one, you cut all of them that are going to be that size, that way they'll all be, for better or worse, that one size. Anyway, so prepping the stock. So the next thing I need, I need, God, it, it's a bunch, I need 15 inch pieces, and I need four for each chest, I want to make six chests, so that's 24 15 inch pieces, five and uh, three quarter. Five and a half inches wide. So I've got to do that, and they've got to be all the same thickness and all the same width, and some semblance of, uh, you know, hopefully get them finished and hopefully get them all flat, which they're not now. Lots to do just for this little simple part. Let's get going. So I've got those set off to the side for a moment. Clean the bench. I, when I clamped that, I had excess glue, and the excess glue all, you know, squeezes, not all, a lot of the excess glue, or I guess all the excess glue, squeezes out of the joints. If it wasn't, it wouldn't be excess, right? Uh, anyway, so we end up with glue goblets, droplets. Uh, if you regular watch or the channel, you know that I, from time to time, will clean modestly and uh, put a coat of tongue oil on the bench top. And this is where that pays off in spades. Now you still have to do it. Get a scraper out and do this little bit of scraping. But this is, uh, may all your scraping be like this. It's just, it's just, it's nice to know that you can be casual about some things like the excess glue and, and not, not suffer too much. Excess glue gets on your bar clamps, your pipe clamps in this case. This is the time to take it off. It's fresh. And where it's overly thick, it hasn't quite set up yet. And so it's pretty soft. Anyway, clean up. So, more goblets. That's just, it's such an old man thing to do. In my youth, I would never, ever, ever have done anything like this. But my partner was raised well, and he knew cleaning and tidiness had great value, and he was like, <laughs> it's just so cool. So it means you don't have to do all that papering shit. And Paper this, and I, I typically, what do I use for paper? I use rosin paper, red rosin paper, and it's always got a curl in it for having been rolled up so tightly when it was made. And you're always fighting, it's curling back up on you, and you're working on it. It's just rough. And then you ruin it, a whole sheet of paper, with three little droplets on it, but you can't get off. And this, <laughs> well, look at it this way. This is clean enough to run boards across after I run through the saw. Anyway, it's great. All right. So we're cleaned up. 
Now we'll do much the same thing to the uh, to the surface of the boards and uh, get ready to paint them. No. <laughs> get ready to plane them. So I'm not going to touch the bottoms. The bottoms are where it's the worst. I can let the planer do that. But the top, I was thinking about putting a quartz belt on my belt sander. And I think I will. That'll just knock down everything. Let me do that, bring you back. Belt sander, loud. to knock down I'll be able to move on to uh, run this through the planer I might break it I think I'm gonna break it in half first and plane each side separately it's a little bit more time planing but I think I'll just be a little bit more control of the material I think we'll see I mean I when I say I think that means that's what I'm gonna do obviously but I'm going to wonder whether it was a good idea or not for a while. I'm going to do this one, I'm going to plane it through, I don't know, boy, it's confusing. I wasn't thinking about what this is going to be like. This seems like it's high. It's not down here, it's low down here. That's how I thought it all was. Continue to think. Get a really crappy belt on this. I should put a better belt on to give me a little bit more control. But I'm just, if I put a new belt on, I'm just going to screw it up because this glue is where it's thick, it's still a little pit on the gummy side.
All right, give me more confidence here. Well, this is ready to go. Let's start planning. Okay, after a period of negotiations with myself, which is stupid, um, I've determined that, uh, that my best course of action is to plane, I planed them all one side. I took the, the, I took one side, the side that had been up and I planed it. In some places it worked out, in some places it didn't. But I've now got a relatively flat underside. So now I'm going to take this opportunity to, uh, to uh, rip these in half into the two pieces that they're going to ultimately be. I need two pieces. The pieces need to be five and a half. And I've got 11 and five eighths. So I've got, you know, almost a quarter of an inch to play with. So, um, okay. So. Uh, 11 and 5 eighths is, uh, you know, a little more than 5 and 3 quarter. Don't screw up. I think that's what I want. The blade centered on 5 and, uh, that doesn't look quite right. Better, better. 5 and, uh, Centered on five and seven eighths. Do the math. All right, so off we go. And is that right? Five and five eighths. Should be five sixteenths. Looks right. It looks right. Blade thickness, right? You got to plan on blade thickness. So I'm clamped. Lifting's over. It ripped. It wasn't the best in the world, but it ripped, and it's fine. And they're not incredibly straight, but they're going to be all, you know, largely short pieces. Nothing really longer than uh, 14 and three quarter inch. Straight isn't really the problem. It sometimes is. All right, so there's that. I can now run these things through the planer, and I think I will while the saw is cooling off. Be just a minute.
Now we'll do another rip. It's going well. Okay. Well, let's um let's plane these. This is great. Let's sand it. Alright.